Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of an egg. Now, this egg is pretty cool looking. <laughs> this is a quadcopter, believe it or not, folks. This is the Kaideng K130 little micro FPV quadcopter. Uh, let's go over it real quick. Looking at it, you can't say, you you know, how is that a quadcopter? Well, it's one of these little pocket quadcopters. It does have a camera you see on the front here. But again, it is egg-shaped. Here's its charging port on the top here. And if you look on the bottom, there is a little button. It's an on-off switch. But also, when you press that button, the arms swing open. And that's how it becomes a quadcopter, as you look here. You know, it has four downward pusher motors. Um, the circuit board is in there. I don't know if you can see it or not you know, the flight control board, uh, but that's about it. You know, again, it's a very basic little quadcopter. The camera is in there, too, on the other side of that circuit board because here's the camera. Now, it is a Wi-Fi flyer, uh, 2.4 gigahertz FPV flyer. Now, I don't see a Wi-Fi antenna, okay? So I'm assuming the Wi-Fi antenna is probably right up here, you know, the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, but I am a little bit concerned there because, you know, uh, about reception range. We'll find out here shortly if this has significant reception range. Otherwise, I think this might be intended mainly as an indoor flyer, indoor FPV flyer. Now, on the other side there, there you can see its battery. Uh, it's 3.7 volt, uh, 200 milliamp per hour battery uh, encased inside the quadcopter. It cannot be changed other than you need to take this apart to get at it. You know, it's, it's inside, way inside the quadcopter. So it's meant for recharging once and then recharging again before your next flight. Now you can obviously, you know, using the USB uh, power bank, you can charge this out in the field if you need to. But you know, this is more or less one little fun little flight and then recharge it and there you go. Now let's go over its controller. Let me put it down here on the landing pad. This is its controller. Uh, currently, uh, this is the current design for the controller. Kydeg says that they are coming out with a different design controller in the near future so don't you know rely on this being the controller that you may get you may get something different but they said that the stick functions will be the same so let's go over them real quick you know this one says photo and video but this is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer so this button is inactive on the quadcopter this is automatic takeoff and automatic landing I forgot to mention this has um, altitude hold uh, for activating flips you press into the throttle stick and then tell it which direction to flip and for doing rates you press into the pitch stick and that will increase your rates beginner intermediate and expert uh, in my opinion this should be reversed but that's the way they did it and headless it does have headless mode and one key return you activate headless mode by pressing this button here and one key return by pressing this button here and these are just regular pitch trim pitch uh, trim buttons and uh, roll trim buttons here so that's the controller so let's go into a flight of the K-130 from Kaideng and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, I have it connected to the Pantone map available on Google Play and iTunes. And we click on My Drone and we see we have FPV view. Now you can also control this, as you see here, via the app. But I strongly recommend you use the controller if you get a controller because it, will, they, it gives you more precise control uh, other than the app. So I'm going to turn off the app eye view there to hide the uh, control sticks on the uh, the app and we're going to fly it again strictly through the controller okay pressing the automatic takeoff button and that starts the motors it apparently does not do an automatic takeoff let's press it again and that stops the motor so you can start and stop the motors by pressing that button here but take it to the air by giving a throttle now I don't know if I mentioned it or not but this does have altitude hold as you see here Now, right away, I can tell you, people are going to have a hard time um, maintaining orientation on this. <laughs> you probably might want to put color code on it, but let's send it up higher. And just a little bit higher, right about there, and give you an aerial view of the area. And also, that appears to be close to the edge of its range right about there. Its range appears to be very low. See this? There we go. Okay, coming back down again. Now, one thing I haven't tried is what happens when you lose reception from this thing? And with
with that in mind, I'm going to land it first. Boy, I'm having a hard time maintaining orientation on this. <laughs> but there we go. And land it. And again, turn the motors off like so. And hitting, this time let's hit record, <laughs> which I forgot to do. It's recording this time. So you'll be able to see it. Starting the motors again. I'm sorry I didn't hit record, but we did have screen recording on that. And take it to the air again. Whoops, stopping motors. I should have gave a little more throttle there. Starting the motors again. Going to the air. Okay. The altitude hold, yeah, it's kind of iffy on it. But there is its altitude hold. It's, you know, it goes up and down a little bit here. But once it's in the air, it's so oh, it's steady. <laughs> okay, I'm controlling it like so. I'll go up a little bit higher, and we'll take it for a walk. Now again, this is meant for close-in flying. Uh, acrobatics, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try the flips. Oh, that's the rates. Flips. Well, oh, don't do flips with it. Not very good flipper. <laughs> Going back to the air. Oh, stopping. Not a very good flipper at all, folks. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm not going to do any more flips. But let's take it back to the air. Before I do, let me stop the video recording. It automatically stopped itself after that last her, uh, shutdown. I'm going to take it back to the landing pad. And we are recording. And take it to the air. Now, headless mode. Let's try that. Headless mode. Pushing forward. Yeah, this might be best floating with headless mode, folks, because you're going to have difficulty maintaining orientation on it. But there it is. And a little higher. And for that, I'm going to fly the rest of this in headless mode. But let's try one key return. Here comes one key return. Going back out again in headless mode. One key return, and notice it's coming down parallel to its original direction. Pressing forward, and to the right. You can get side by panning shots, sideways panning shots with it. And also you can maintain the focus on the point of interest, such as me. How do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> And going back out again, flying in entirely in headless mode. So yeah, headless mode is probably the best way to fly this thing. Going up again, and I'm seeing blinking lights. So that's telling blinking red light. So it's telling me the camera's probably getting low, or the battery's probably getting low. So we'll come down and lower. Now ah, one more time. Let's go back up high again. And rotate around. The area. And coming down low. One more time, I want to stop it momentarily. The reason being, I want to stop. There you go. Remember to press that stop button. I want to hit that record button there to make sure I got that video. Putting it back on its landing pad. Use that stop button, folks. Once you, once you land, make sure you stop those motors. You don't want to damage them. Hitting record one more time. And pressing start. Let's see if I can get any more flight time out of this. There we go. And it's flying. That's it, folks. No more. No more flight time. So that's the flight time of the little egg. <laughs> K-130. So, you know, this is a beginner's toy quadcopter um, able to you know you take it with you in your pocket easily folding it back up again uh, and make sure I turn it off too 
forgot to turn it off before folding it up. But um, again, you know, because of the orientation issues, you're probably going to want to fly this strictly, mostly in headless mode, uh, especially beginners. But flying in headless mode, you can get good video, so keep that in mind too. Uh, panning video. I try to demonstrate some panning video there, and with the head, you know, and you flying in headless mode. I hope the videos came out. We'll find out here shortly. So again, this is the Kite NK130. Hope you enjoyed the flight, Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Thank you.